Hey guys, it's Lindsay and welcome to my channel. Happy February. Since it's the month of February, I thought I would talk about relationships. So today we are going to be talking about how to attract your soulmate. I came up with this idea because my friend's mom happens to be an amazing life coach and motivational speaker and she follows my blog and she sent me different types of vision boards and one of them was this cute create your mate package. How cute is this? I'm gonna leave a link below of where you can find this. If you're not familiar with the law of attraction or if you don't believe in the law of attraction, just think about it as any other goal in your life. When you want something, for example, say you go on vacation, you have to pick a destination, you have to find the airlines you're gonna fly on, you have to find all the excursions you're going to do, you have to plan an entire trip if you wanna go somewhere. Well, that rings true for your entire life, even your love life. So one of my friend's mom, Marcy Newman, hi Marcy if you're watching this, um, sent me this fun way to make a new type of vision board. Um, she has these very creative ways that you can do affirmations, uh, which I just showed you. So inside this package comes kind of like a little letter that says how to manifest creating your mate from Marcy herself. Believe me, this lady is amazing. Um, and then they have a little menu of what you want. So writing down what you want in a person that you want is really gonna help you visualize and find the type of person that you want. So let's get started. So step one is write down on a piece of paper the things you want in a relationship, the traits of that person, how you want to feel in that relationship, everything about the person. A lot of things that people do wrong when they're trying to manifest the person they want is they just think about how the person looks or what kind of job the person has. You need to think about everything down to the person being a loyal person, a good person that makes you feel good about yourself. A lot of people forget those things or about having common grounds on politics. Really think about what is important for you to have in a relationship because just like anything else in your life, like planning a vacation, if you don't know the destination, well, how are you gonna go on the trip? If you don't book the airlines, how are you going to get there? Same thing, we are planning what you want to manifest in your life, so that way you have a better chance of finding it and attracting it to yourself. It's very important to have a clear blueprint of what you want in a person, but also be careful because we do not wanna get so stuck on needing a person to be exactly what we want that we let the good person pass by. Like, I mean, you know, maybe you think it's attractive that a person likes steak, but then you meet a guy and he hates steak. Don't write them off because of those things. Or if he doesn't have the job that you want or the color hair that you want, you can't be super, super picky that you let a good person pass by, but by having these lists down, you can find out what your biggest core values that you want in a person to manifest in your life. Think of those top things. Um, when you're manifesting the person that you want that are non-negotiables, for example, someone who doesn't smoke, someone who doesn't cheat, someone who is healthy, who has a good relationship with their family. Um, you know, like a top five to 10 things that are really important to you. Forget about the past of what's happened to you. A lot of times we are like, I am always like this. I always have a guy cheat on me. I'm too nice. Whatever it is you are saying in your mind that holds you back. Stop that right now. That was the past and this is now, because what you believe is what you receive. So we need to write things down to change those negative things of what we believe to be positive things, because we need to realize that change is gonna happen and the things we want are coming. Step two, once we've thought about what you wanna define in a relationship for yourself, you need to think about what needs to change within yourself to attract that into your life. For example, if you're looking for a relationship that's gonna honor and respect you, ask yourself, do you honor and respect yourself in every way? If the answer is no, you need to think and take the opportunity to find out why and how you can love and respect yourself on all levels. Because once you start doing that, you feel so much love and respect for who you are that you're able to give that to others. You have more room to love others and then you attract those people to you because if you don't believe that you just don't deserve something, then how are you going to get it? Simple thing I like to do is think, okay, um, I want a guy that's confident. For example, what does a confident guy look for in a girl? Well, he looks for a girl who's confident, who knows what she wants. Am I confident? Do I know what I want? If the answer is no, how do I be more confident? How do I know what I want? Perhaps you're looking for someone who's just gonna love you for who you are. Ask yourself the question, do I accept myself from who I am? Am I the most authentic version of myself? If the answer is no, 
well then what are you doing that makes you feel like you're not authentic and how can you be more authentic and true to yourself again if you are not being yourself and you are introducing yourself or being someone else to the world that's what people think you are and that's the kind of people you are attracting and that could be why you're attracting wrong people into your life and if you go up to someone and you say hi i'm lindsay i'm confident you know they're gonna be wow that's lindsay she's confident if you go up to people and you're like hi i'm lindsay i'm awkward around people well they're gonna think you're awkward around people because that's what you're telling them. You need to be yourself and love yourself for who you are because that's what people will see and the people that appreciate that will come into your life. And if you're being a fake person or you're not authentic, you're going to manifest not authentic people to your life. And so as you can see, attracting a relationship to you has a lot to do with yourself and your self-love. We make it so much harder on ourselves than it needs to be and that's why we need to write affirmations like this down even to attract a soulmate. Alignment with yourself is so important because when you have alignment with who you are and what you want, the world opens up with so many possibilities. Thanks for watching. I also have a link to all of Marcy's Newman stuff below. I'm telling you, this lady is amazing. Her family has changed my life and that's why I'm going to be making more videos about her products and about how they work. For more information about what the law of attraction is, if you're a skeptic or if you think how is writing something down going to manifest what you want in your life, click the links that are going to pop up in this feed. I have some more videos about it. Also below I have my blog www.dosabliss.com. I have so many articles with facts and science behind how the law of attraction works. And you know what, at the end of the day, whether you believe it or not, it does not hurt you to love yourself more and figure out how you can be a better person because you're just gonna be happier at the end of the day. It does not hurt to write down some affirmation. So get out there and do it. I believe in you, you are going to attract all the love you want in your life. I'm already loving you right here. I believe in you, you deserve the best, you deserve to love yourself, and I know you're gonna find um, the love that you are working for, that you're working for, that you are looking for. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and write to me what you're looking for in someone special. Let's get these manifestations starting in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post every week, sometimes twice, and I will see you next time.